last introduction to make. This is Lieutenant Arik Jorgen, an operations officer from the Republic's Ord Mantell Infantry Command. Since we're on individual missions to search for this bomb, Lieutenant Jorgen is coordinating our efforts from here within the mission room. All right, Sergeant. I'll be overseeing your op through the camera mounted on your armor, so I see what you see. It's activated when you leave the fort. I'll make this completely clear, Rookie. When you're in the field, what I say goes. Period. I can handle myself, sir. The other members of Havoc have proven themselves on dozens of ops, Sergeant. You haven't. Just make your way to Talaran, meet up with Bellis, and find out what he knows without screwing anything up. Good luck in Talaran, Sergeant. Dismissed. Bellis is KIA. That's some fine work, Sergeant. Do you think you could have taken a little longer getting to the RV point? Sir, please come and assist me if you feel it would be beneficial, sir. This isn't a joke, Sergeant. However, there is a chance you might be able to find out what Bellis learned. If you follow procedure, Bellis should have left a coded recording of his discovery in his field box, hidden somewhere inside his home in Talaran. Remember, if the Separatists know Bellis was a spy, they may already be searching his house or waiting to ambush Republic agents as they come. Stay alert. You have to get that field box from Bellis' house before the Separatists do. Double time it. Permission to resume my mission, Lieutenant? Just get it done. Jorgen out. Oh, Sergeant, hey, you're back. Good job out there in Talaran. Really nice work. I'll take the field box you retrieved, Sergeant. And maybe next time, you could bring me a live Republic agent instead. Lieutenant Bazarin here still thinks you're mission-worthy, so he has a task for you. He'll brief you while I start decoding Bellis' intel. Oh, yes. Um, we found an urgent lead while you were in Talaran, Sergeant. The perfect op for our new assault specialist. What kind of lead? Uh, well, because it's not so much a lead as it is a bomb threat. Here's what happened. This refugee comes into the fort, right? Not that unusual, but this guy says he knows about a Separatist bombing. One happening today. All we got was his name, Miru. Cause he was thrown out of the fort before we could get to him. I don't think throwing informants out is standard procedure. Bums come here every day trying to trade intel for credits. It's bogus 90% of the time, so the grunts downstairs usually chase them off. I guess Miru could be lying, but what if he does know about the ZR-57? We can't take that risk. Anyway, we looked into it, and Miru is staying over in the refugee camp. See if you can find him there. I guess I can look into this for you. And while you're gone, Jorgen will decode the information from Bellis's field box. Hopefully we'll find out what the Separatists are hiding. Now get to the refugee camp and get Miru's intel, soldier. If this bombing's happening soon, there's no time to waste. Sergeant, I copied what Miru said, and this bomb situation sounds like the real thing. I want you to head for the road Miru described and locate the Separatists' hidden bombs. A troop convoy is scheduled to move through the area any minute now, so you need to get those bombs defused ASAP. Double time it, soldier. I do my best work under pressure. Jorgen out. Sergeant, good to see you again. Superb work on that ambush situation. Adaptability like that is what Havoc Squad is all about. We're no closer to finding the bomb than we were before. Not for long. I have good news. Lieutenant Jorgen has finished reviewing the intel from Bellis's field box. It's given us a real breakthrough. Did Bellis manage to uncover the ZR-57's hiding place? He did, Sergeant. Bellis discovered that the Separatists have the ZR-57 secured inside their supply outpost on Manip Point, a small island just off the coast. I sent Wraith ahead to reconnoitre the outpost, and she successfully located a secured area where we believe the bomb is stored. Judging by the dramatic increase in the number of guards and the complex security systems installed, we're certain the bomb is there. Honestly, with security like this, Manip Point looks more like an Imperial military base than a Separatist hideout to me. I think the Seps are getting a helping hand, Commander. From the Imperials? That seems unlikely, Lieutenant. Surely our spies would have discovered any Imperial involvement on Ord Mantell long before now. Fighting Imperials is what I signed up for. I say bring them on. You said it, Sergeant. We can discuss the possibility of any Imperial connections later. Let's focus on the mission at hand. Wraith can't breach the secure area of the Manit Point outpost alone, so I'm sending you in immediately. The Manit Point bridge is out of commission so you'll have to make an amphibious approach to the island. When you arrive, effect entry into the supply outpost and rendezvous with Wraith inside. She'll give you further instructions at that time. Understood? Before I go, sir, there's a lieutenant named Verk running a bribery scheme with the men under his command. Verk? I know the guy. He's a pretty pathetic officer. 
but nobody's ever made any official complaints. None that I heard about, anyway. Lieutenant Jorgen and I will see to this. You should get moving to Manet Point so that you can rendezvous with Wraith inside the Separatist outpost. Dismissed. Sergeant, you've returned. Oh, well, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officers' data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village, seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Understood, sir. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Once I have the ingredients, where do I take them? What's Zack's location? Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. Sergeant, I copied everything. Sounds like we're gonna be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. I'm a charming person. What can I say? Yeah, I guess you missed your calling. But just hang on before you file for that transfer. We still got work to do. Infiltrating that mountain stronghold isn't going to be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I can't wait to take these seps down once and for all. You and me both, Sergeant. Jorgen out. Sergeant, welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're going to be observing the op here with me. I'm supposed to just sit here while everyone else goes in. Afraid so. Commander Tavis took Havoc Squad into the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57. They're breaching the perimeter as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I found that bomb. I should be the one to retrieve it. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything. It's like they've disappeared completely. That's unacceptable, soldier. You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now. Yes, sir. Do you think Zack and Jowler set us up, sir? There's no way to tell from here. Whatever happened was bad. Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. The ZR-57 must not remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? Yes, sir. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the activation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the SEPs with nothing but a big radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatist's comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. Tough missions are what I do best. Just be sure you play it safe out there. We have zero room for errors on this one. You have the coordinates for the Separatist stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Breach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. 
We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant. Sergeant, that was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. I encountered Imperial soldiers guarding the bomb. Copy that. We saw them through your armor cam. Unbelievable. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so Command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. If you learn any more, be sure to contact me. You got it, Sergeant. With all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in Infantry Command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. I guess word of the defection is traveling fast. Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. I'm honored. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. I'd be glad to have you in the unit, Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis's face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man. We need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. I'm gonna kill every single one of those traitors if it's the last thing I do. Just don't underestimate them, Lieutenant. Tavis and his followers won't be easy to take down. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. I'm hunting Tavis down. I hope General Garza's on board with that. General Garza will do whatever is best for the situation, Lieutenant. And you'd do well to stow the attitude before you meet her. You better get to your shuttle. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. So, Havoc Squad. The best of the best. Can't say I'm thrilled about the demotion, but it's an honor to be here, sir. How are you holding up? You mean after watching Tavis flush my career down the fresher? What do you think? Four years at the Academy, seven years in the field, decorations, commendations. Would have made captain soon if Command hadn't hung me out to dry. We both know Tavis's defection wasn't your fault. Tell that to the brass when they need a scapegoat. But hey, water under the bridge. Command put me in havoc to help you find Tavis, and I intend to do just that. I've hunted Imperials from one side of the galaxy to the next. Used to command the Dead Eyes, finest sniper squad in the Republic. I'm not familiar with that outfit. No? Maybe I'll tell you about them sometime. You spend enough time on a backwater like Ord Mantel, you almost forget what a civilized planet's supposed to look like. I did my officer training here, back before I was deployed to Ord Mantel. There was still a fair bit of reconstruction going on then. Rebuilding things the Imperials destroyed. I still can't believe the Empire managed to sack Coruscant back in the war. The capital of the entire Republic and they raided it like some outer rim mud ball. Seems like the Empire would have tried to hold on to Coruscant. Nah, they didn't bring the numbers to actually take over. It was a psychop. Sack Coruscant, scare everyone in the Republic. Get people thinking that nobody's safe. Anyways, we should get moving. Don't want to keep anyone important waiting. Senator, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this... My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But, General...
Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. Did you just lie to a Senator? Certainly not. You've only just arrived and told me about Commander Tavis and the rest of Havoc Squad defecting. Before this moment, I knew nothing of the matter. I have to congratulate you. Surviving the ordeal on Ord Mantell took skill and courage. I'm impressed. It's not easy being this good. But I imagine the confidence comes naturally. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. A waste of time. We should be going after the traitors. Not gunning people down just because some madman said they're dangerous. I'm not going to murder these people. I don't care what Garza says. Whatever we're gonna do, let's do it fast. Oh, you're the new Havoc CEO. Must be my lucky day. I'm Jaxo. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Working with a beautiful woman on a dangerous mission? I'd say it's my lucky day. You wanna focus, sir? We've got a job to do here, remember? Nothing says your boss can't have a little fun, Sergeant. Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. Imperial soldiers. So you are a traitor. Just like Tavis and the others. You're gonna pay for what you've done, Carden. You, Tavis, everyone. I reviewed your service record before that ZR-57 op. Been meaning to discuss it with you. So you can kill Imperials. But that guerrilla mentality won't cut it in the big time. You saw how I handled things on Ord Mantell. I know what I'm doing. Taking on that SEP army single-handedly showed guts, not leadership. When I signed on with the Dead Eyes, my CO was Lieutenant Vorn. Certified war hero, as decorated as they come. When he gave an order, we trusted it, followed it to the letter. A squad needs that kind of commitment to operate effectively. You're saying you don't trust me? I'm saying trust requires more than a slick new promotion. Havoc Squad is the Republic's most elite outfit. We tackle the missions no one else can handle. Traitor or no, Tavis is a tough act to follow. You think you're up to it? My record speaks for itself. I'll admit, you've seen and done more than most soldiers your age. You've got confidence and plenty of raw talent. Maybe you'll pull this off.